let's have a look at uh, faf first and why we have picked uh, faf there you go as long as uh, i mean him 320 runs his uh, this is him uh, in 2021 so just towards the end of his career harsha he is just finding this what is it second third win for faf what is it <laughs> And, and and remember, he's a fantastic <laughs> fielder. If, if there's anything going past long off, long on, in the end overs from Faf, you had to have had a really good, uh, really good hit. I, mm. I think franchises around the world will rediscover a happier Faf. He didn't seem very happy as captain of South Africa with all that was happening around him. Mm. So he's just decided, hang on, they haven't even picked him for the T20 World Cup. He's got 320, uh, average 50 yeah. strike rate, 140. He's the first person you pick in your side. But they, yeah. they've, they've really gone beyond. And so Faf is now free. And he was fantastic in the early part of the IPL. I mean, sometimes we keep forgetting because it was so many months ago. But Faf was fantastic. He just keeps catching, taking the catches at long off. He was scoring freely at the top. Of course, if, yeah. If, yeah. And if Chennai turned the corner from being mm. a team that spent the first 10 overs contemplating life and then deciding, <laughs> forming committees and deciding what course of action and then saying, OK, let's move on. To suddenly think, right, boom, we're going. Faf and uh, Ruturaj Gaikwad were a very big part of that. Yeah, uh, and and about uh, Michael about Faf because you made this point earlier, right? When you were speaking about when you decided to give up the captaincy, and we were talking in terms of Virat. Sometimes it works the other way, as Harsha is saying. Like it has for Faf, it seems like there's a load off, and he's just playing more freely. Sometimes you can find the spark. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and there's no question. Virat will find that as, as a batter. You know, he, he will. It'll take him a little bit of a while to get used to not being the leader in T20 cricket. But you know, he'll probably wake up one morning and realise it's great you know, to just play cricket without having to go and do all the press conferences, go and speak to all the players, uh, try and man manage every situation, just play the game of cricket. Um, you know, sometimes captaincy is great. You know, I, I do believe it's the best job in sport, but. You know, there, there are times where you realise that it's a, a bit of a pain in the backside. You know, there are times when you say, no, today's not the day to be the captain. There's this going off and that's going off. And Faf has, has been that kind of uh, leader in that, that he's been able to part the captaincy and just play. I think it's I think it's nice to be able to go and play these franchise tournaments around the mm. world as a player. Uh, uh, you know, when you, you're an international captain, there's quite a few international captains go and play uh, a few of these tournaments without the captaincy and just get back yeah. into the group. Um, you know, and I think at uh, Chennai, they just seem to be a franchise that uh, are nice to play for. I think Stephen Fleming and his team, behind the scenes, Mike Hussey's involved. I, I just think they create a good environment for the player to just go and play with their, their style. Uh, Faf over the years has been a, a tremendous player, been able to cope yeah. with the pressure and read situations. That's why he was a very good captain. Uh, 